the financial crisis in Europe and what some are calling a bailout light for Spain. Eurozone ministers and Madrid agreed over the weekend to a rescue loan worth up to $125 billion. But Spain gets the money without some of the strings attached to previous bailouts in Greece, Portugal and Ireland. It was for many here Spain's big moment this weekend. But away from the football, there was the matter of a bailout. Spain is now by far the largest Eurozone economy to ask for help from abroad. The Spanish Prime Minister said his government's economic reforms had saved Spain from a similar bailout of that of Greece, Portugal or Ireland. If we hadn't done what we've done in these five months, what we would have asked for yesterday would have been a bailout for the Kingdom of Spain. But as we've been five months doing our homework, what was put before us and what was decided on was the opening of a line of credit for our financial system. Unemployment is the other big problem here. Mariano Rajoy said more money for the banks will create economic growth and therefore more jobs. What the Eurozone will ask in return for a bailout is more reforms for troubled Spanish banks. But the details of Spain's rescue deal are still being worked out and its impact on this troubled economy won't become clear for a long time. Spain's decision to ask for financial assistance was welcomed by the EU, which is keen to avoid a crisis of confidence, especially with the region heading towards the Greek elections on June the 17th. We are working closely with, uh, with Spain and uh, we want to stand by Spain in these uh, difficult uh, challenges. Uh, that's why Europe uh, responded uh, positively to the, to the announcement of uh, Spain for financial assistance. Key to these negotiations will be how to phrase all of this. The Spanish government has referred to this financial assistance package repeatedly as a credit line, but many here in Madrid are sceptical. Take a listen. At the end of the day, it's a bailout because it's money that Spain, the, the Spanish government, don't have, doesn't have and we are um, borrowing it from Europe, so it's a bailout. So whether it's the Spanish bull that's running on empty or just the Spanish banks that have little left in their coffers, well, the markets will soon have their say and that'll be what politicians will be watching out for over the next week.